Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Wednesday the 8th of April on local media headlines today. There were three more coronavirus deaths reported in Cornwall yesterday, bringing the total so far to 28. The death rate at the Royal Cornwall Hospital in Truro is nearly double the regional average across the southwest. Plymouth has recorded 17, Exeter 15 and Torbay 19. Only Gloucestershire has seen more deaths. There is some good news. Cornwall Council is expanding its deals with otherwise empty hotels to provide more pop-up care homes, freeing up another 120 hospital beds. Meanwhile, a decision is expected in the next few days about whether Cornwall is to get its own Nightingale Field Hospital. Cornwall reports also told how the police are threatening to fine any holidaymakers they find who have travelled to Cornwall this weekend. The police are also concerned that the continuing crisis will increase incidents involving domestic abuse. The excitement of Cornwall's MPs over the government's decision to write off local NHS debt might be tempered when they find out that it's really just old wine in a new bottle. The council is advising that dustbin and recycling collections will continue as usual, but County Hall can't guarantee at what time, so the advice is to put the bins out early just to be safe. And council officials have approved a planning application from the Duchy of Cornwall for another 265 houses at Newquay. Well done to Pirate FM for getting the news back to normal with a story about flooding. There are high tide alerts in place today along the North Cornwall coast. The Cornish Times reported the death of a man on the Lou Valley railway line. There are no suspicious circumstances. The BBC has been out and about to get reaction from those in receipt of food parcels. And finally, Cornwall Live has found a celebrity chef doing something on TV with ice cream. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.